Jake Gyllenhaal and Chris Pine are starring in two new thrillers hitting theaters this weekend. Here's Dean with his reviews. Hey guys, we've got new movies that are opening this weekend, including the latest from director Michael Bay. It's called Ambulance. Here's my Dean's List review. We don't get to walk off into the sunset. I have a plan. It's easy to spot a Michael Bay directed movie. They're usually the ones with the most explosions and crashes and the nonstop adrenaline rushes, whether they're needed or not. His latest called Ambulance is no exception. Loaded with nonstop thrills and action and just when you've had enough, he gives you even more. In it, a bank robbery goes bad and a paramedic and her patient are taken hostage, setting off a citywide police chase through virtually every nook and cranny of Los Angeles by both land and air. Jake Gyllenhaal, Yahia Abdul Mateen II, and Isa Gonzalez are pretty much confined not only by a script that is pretty much one note, but are also confined physically to the inside of a vehicle for most of this movie, making the already thin script even more claustrophobic. Somehow, with all of the quick cuts and way too much manic stunt driving, the movie does manage to hold together. Gave it a Dean's List B-. There's also the Amazon Prime movie, All the Old Knives, starring Chris Pine and Tandy Way Newton in the middle of a CIA investigation in which anyone could be the mole that caused a deadly plane hijacking. It's a good old-fashioned thriller, and while it's not exactly groundbreaking, it is smart and with plenty of passion for the grown-ups, a Dean's List B. Also new this week is the family offering Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the second installment of lowest common denominator so-called kids comedy. It's a sonically forgettable Dean's List D. You can always get my weekly movie review sent to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999, sponsored by Lyric Opera of Chicago's Tosca, now through April 10th. Get tickets at lyricopera.org. At the Goodman Theater, Dean Richards, WGN News.